What's going on everybody? It is Empire Vulcan and today we're going to be talking about the new trading card game that was just announced by Pokemon in their Pokemon event earlier today, which is called Pokemon Pocket. Um, it's coming out this year on both iOS and Android and I'm interested. I'm, I'm really interested. There are a few concerns that I have just because we already have a online trading card game and I just want to talk a little bit about my thought processes while watching it and just as a marketing student like myself what this means for their company and what they're trying to do. Um, so let me go and get the technical stuff out the way first so we can start discussing the cool stuff in the game. So one of the first things that I noticed was that when you play the, the, the OG PTCGO game, there are no microtransactions in that game. The only thing you can do and the only way you can get more cards and more, uh, you know, coins or whatever to purchase cards is by buying real life product and getting these. Like this is the, that's the only way you're able to get more of anything. So Pokemon kind of limited themselves on making extra money, having an additional stream of money by limiting themselves to only people buying real life product. And th that's just not where we are in the world. A lot of people are going digital and want the digital experience and don't really want to own physical cards. I mean, I have a tub full of Pokemon cards and the majority of them I don't even use. I have a couple of decks that I play in competitive tournaments, but outside of that, I just have a bunch of cards sitting around. So what this game adds is a digital experience to the card game that allows you to collect digitally, allows you to spend money digitally. You got to understand everything is a money game. So let me just kind of scroll down to some of these cards. I mean, take a look at that. Like these are some really cool looking cards. Look at that Moltres, you know, Pikachu, the Meowth, full art. They're able to do different things now by adding a story, kind of adding immersive cards. This allows them to do more digitally, which keeps their cost insanely low because they don't have to print physical cards. And they get all the money from us because I'm pretty sure, and we, we saw this in the trailer. I'm not sure if I can play the video for copyright reasons, so I'm not going to play it. But we saw in the video that it says you get two packs of free of charge daily that already told me everything i needed to know this is a microtransaction game if you want more packs give me more money and i'm not mad at them they're a business they're a billion dollar business for a reason um so nobody should be surprised by that uh i came over from the Yu-Gi-Oh world so i was already aware of the uh, comparison to this so in the Yu-Gi-Oh world um, PTCGL would be uh, similar to Master Duel the Steam game Master Duel and then um, this game Pokemon Pocket will be similar to Duel Links for Yu-Gi-Oh they've, they've always been on the microtransaction game so both of them th those two games on the Yu-Gi-Oh front already have microtransactions but for Pokemon, they're starting to get into that game themselves and with this right here. So I'm not surprised by it, and nobody should really be surprised by it. That's just the nature of the world we live in. But anyway, now that all the technical marketing money financial stuff is done, let's talk a little bit about what I expect from this game and, and what's pretty cool about it. So this is like reaction right after watching it, so I'm not sure if... The cards that I'm showing here are real, like they've, they've been out before. These are real cards. But what I think with an online game like this is now Pokemon is able to release a lot more different artworks, a lot more different, uh, well, mainly just artworks that really make the cards look beautiful. You know, these might be things they introduce into the future, but it just really turns their graphics and artwork department into like one of its main gems um i mean take a look at this moltres right 
it's beautifully designed, full art, has a nice little glimmer, a nice little shine to it. Like, I'm not sure if this is real. It could be. You know, if it's real, put it in the comments, hey, this came out years ago, blah, 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 blah. Cool. But this this is nice. Like, that is something that they're able to explore now, more unique graphics and, and stuff like that. I'm seeing here that now their graphics and illustration department is going to be more immersive and add more of a, a, a picture storyline to their cards. That's pretty cool. That adds a new element to the trading card game. Um, and of course, uh, you wouldn't have an online trading card game without making certain cards look absolutely cool in 3D, which means that this is going to be pricey. That's just the way that's just the way the game works. Um, but I'm just really excited about what this is going to do. Uh, it's cool. It's coming out this year, so they're they're probably on the final stages of development. One of the biggest things I'm worried about is. Uh, the development piece we saw how much of a dumpster fire ptcgl was um they're just now adding the log to their game which should have been standard updates ago but it is what it is so hopefully this game is is a lot uh better developed it sounds like they already have the right people on the job they made sure to you know say who the developers were so they're they're really making an effort to say, hey, look, this is not what we tried before. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they do with this. Uh, I hope this kind of clears up some of the concerns on why they're bringing this out when they already have a game, especially with a game that has an app already. Uh, oh, one more thing. Take a look at the HP at these Pokemon. I think this is going to be a, like I said, it's like Duel Links. So because it's like dual links, things are going to be a lot weaker. Um, a, a 140 HP Moltres is kind of nuts. Uh, a 120 Pikachu EX is kind of nuts. I mean, Charizard 180 HP doing 200 damage. Ugh, it's knocking out almost everything on this board right here. But um, I think it's going to be Pokemon that are not as strong as the real life Pokemon. Just kind of a friendly game, something quick. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. That's just some of the initial thoughts. Just some of the things running through my head. So let me know below. Um, what are some of the initial thoughts you had while watching the announcement? What are your concerns? What are you most excited for? Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing. I'm definitely going to try to put out content. Because this is on an Android or an iOS device, I have to figure out how to stream that for Streamlabs. But... Whenever that comes to be, we'll figure that out. Um, but yeah, let me know below your thoughts. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for some more stuff. I'm going to be pumping out some more content. I've been really working hard to perfect my Annihilate PX deck. And I'm having a lot of fun with Maraidon EX. I'm trying to prepare myself for the next format coming up in about a month and a half. So I've been restructuring all my decks to get rid of everything that's going to be rotated out. And only add in some of the new stuff. And of course, uh, next month we get the new set. So there's going to be some new decks we put together. So it's going to be really fun. I look forward to doing that. But until then, this is Empire Vulcan. And I am out. Peace.